Hey, what's up everybody? We haven't done a production tip in quite a while, so I was working on something tonight and I figured, hey, why not show you how to do this quick tip on separating out the drum parts? So let's get into it. So let's take a quick listen to this drum part so you can hear what I'm working with. Now there's a couple things that really needs to happen with that. And I especially need that kick separated. That way we can side chain it to the bass so I can get a little bit more presence out of it. And then I wanna be able to take the other elements and then be able to change their volume some. All right, so it's very simple. I'm gonna go over here and select my drum track. And then I'm gonna press E to bring up the editor window. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna left click once in this window, press Command A to select all. That's gonna let me see here that I've selected four notes or that I've used four notes in this drum kit. So I need four total tracks, so let's duplicate this three times. And now that we have those duplicated tracks, let's click the drum track. I'm gonna hold Option and I'm gonna drag down and then let go. Still holding Option, I'm gonna do that two more times to select everything. So let's left click this track up here and now I'm gonna select the very first note. That's my kick, but I wanna press Shift I, and that's gonna invert the selection, and now it has selected everything except for that note. I'll delete it, super easy. So let's go down to the next one. I want the second note here. Shift I, delete, third track, third note, Shift I, delete, and then the last track, last note, Shift I, delete. It's that simple. They're all now on separate tracks. Let's take a listen. So if you're anything like me, when I do an initial drum track, I just do it all on one track so I can get the groove and I'll go back through and I'll keep adding elements. So I need to be able to separate them at the end. That's how I do it. It's quick, easy, painless. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Phil, keep creating music.